Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Cheese and welcome to a brand new Days Gone video. So once again, a new Days Gone video. This video is about the Horde, or you could call it a Zombie Swarm. And I'm going to tell you guys all the different Freaker types and how many different Hordes are there, how many Freakers are in one Horde, and also what are they doing all day. If you're new and you want to see more Days Gone videos, consider subscribing down below if you liked the video. And let's go. So before I'm telling more about the Horde, I think it's important to tell you guys everything about the Freakers. So we actually have four different kind of Freakers. The very first one we're going to talk about is the Swarners. Uh, these are actually really easy to kill. It's only one hit or whether it's with a melee weapon or with a pistol, one hit is a kill. Uh, they're sleeping, they're hydrating. These are just as easy to kill as the Freakers that are in a huge Horde. So this shouldn't be a problem at all. The second Freaker type is a Newt. They will only attack you if you actually go into their territory. This could be a house. Uh, they mostly are in groups of four slash five Newts. And uh, I'm not talking about these pictures where you show yourself naked. It's actually N-E-W-T. It just looks like these are actually infected children or something like it. And they will only attack you if you go into their territory or if you're running low on health. A nude actually needs much more shots than a swanner, so make sure to be careful. Then the third type of Freakers is a Screamer. Uh, a Screamer is actually, of course, a Freaker that screams really loud. It's painful for your ears. Uh, don't get too close to them because if you're really close to them and they start screaming, you are just forced to put your hands on your ears as it is such a painful sound coming out of these Freakers. And at that moment, you can basically do anything. So if you want to kill the Screamers, you should have a decent distance. Don't get too close to them and shoot them from a couple of meters. And then we actually got to the very last type of Freakers, which are the Breakers. These are these muscular guys, the muscular infected people uh, that actually, if they get close to you, they will just rip you apart, they tear you apart. Uh, these are really strong, you should definitely keep distance uh, to these as well. They need so many shots and these are the most powerful Freakers in the game. So now you know all the different types of Freakers, you should know that you shouldn't shoot the Freakers in the head. The Freakers actually have ears that you can pick up and these ears will actually give you XP to, for example, upgrade your bike and do a lot of upgrades and stuff like that. So you should need to pick up these ears, these Freaker ears, and you have to sell these for XP. Uh, so what is going on if you shoot them in the head you can actually destroy their ears and you actually miss a lot of XP So before we dive into the hordes, I still have one more thing for you guys There are also infected animals in the game. There are infected wolves bears and ravens Days Gone has 40 different hordes and these hordes actually fluctuate from 50 to 500 Freakers so a horde can be pretty small, but also huge the biggest one can actually be 10 times as big as the smallest horde. So in the storyline, there's actually a horde that you have to take out. This is footage you probably have already seen on my channel or anywhere around, uh, maybe a trader or something. But this is one of the story missions. The other 39 will just be in the open world, so you can actually decide if you're going to attack them or not. All these hordes are actually hydrating, they have hydrating spots like watering holes, and they basically have their own territory and schedule. They eat, sleep, and do everything a normal person would do, but then they are actually infected. They are not zombies, they are people that are infected. So they're not dead, they're still alive. You can follow hordes and track them down, check out their schedule, what are they doing on a certain time of the day, and you can just track down where they are and what they're doing. You can actually attack them when they're eating, you can actually attack them when they're hydrating, but you can also just go attack them when they're actually migrating. When the game is out, I will show you guys the best ways to actually kill all of these hordes. What you should know is that if you kill a horde, that horde is not going to respawn. It will be gone for good. So if you kill the 40 hordes, actually the whole world is pretty empty. They're not going to respawn. 
Maybe we're gonna add a respawn feature, but I don't know about that yet. I also have a video about Deacon since John, his biography, skills, and weapons, everything you need to know about Deacon, the main character of Days Gone. Video link will be in the description. You can also click on the card if you wanna click on there. If you guys that really like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you wanna see more Days Gone. This was Cheese, see you guys in the next one. This was Cheese, peace.